Welcome to the CA Database Analyzer for DB2 for Zeos video. This video focuses on key aspects of the Prioritize Object Maintenance feature. We'll start with an overview of the feature and then zero in on how CA Database Analyzer prioritizes the objects for maintenance. We'll explore Prioritize Object Conditions, Object Sets, and their impact on object processing. We'll review an example and then summarize what we've learned. Today we're going to talk about two important components of the Prioritize Object Maintenance feature, Prioritize Object Conditions and Object Sets. But first, let's take a look at the big picture. Prioritize Object Maintenance is a feature that lets you control the processing order of your Action JCL. As a result, you can ensure that your most important JCL runs first. There are three acronyms that you'll become familiar with over the course of this video. The first acronym is simply POM. When we refer to POM, we're talking about the overall Prioritize Object Maintenance feature. Next, we've got POM Profiles. When we talk about POM Profiles, we're referring to Prioritize Object Maintenance Profiles. You create these profiles. The profiles contain the Prioritize Object Conditions, which we refer to as POCs. The POCs contain the criteria that is used to prioritize the objects that require maintenance. After you create your POM profile, you can tie it to one or more extract procedures. At action processing time, the POM profile is applied to the objects that were selected from all extract procedures. To understand how the product uses the POCs and their values to prioritize your objects, we need to talk about object sets. To begin creating our POM profile, we type the letters PO in the command line and press enter. The Prioritize Object Profile Services panel appears. Let's create a POM profile to apply quarterly maintenance to certain objects. We'll specify the letter C for Create on the blank line, name our profile Quarmain, and type Quarterly Maintenance as the profile description. We'll press Enter, and then the Build Prioritize Object Profile panel appears. This panel contains the POCs. You can filter the list of POCs by the type of maintenance action that you are planning. POCs are very similar to extract object conditions and action conditions. Due to size constraints, this screen shows only a partial list of the available conditions. While in the product, you can scroll down to see all available conditions. The order of the POCs and their values correlate to their importance in determining the priority order of an object. In this example, we select Extents as the first POC and Unclust as the second POC. CA Database Analyzer will evaluate these POCs for all objects in the extract procedure and use the POC values to order the objects for processing. We press F3 to save our work and return to the previous panel. Our profile is complete and is now available to tie to one or more extract procedures. At action processing time, the POM profile is applied to the objects that were selected from all extract procedures. As we have seen, creating a POM profile and adding POCs is easy. To understand how the product uses the POCs and their values to prioritize your objects, we need to talk about object sets. An object set is a table space-based set of related objects and is composed of a table space with its related indexes and all its partitions. Only the objects that are selected in an extract procedure are prioritized, even though other unselected objects can exist in the object set. The highest priority object in an object set determines the priority of the object set relative to other object sets. Therefore, the order of the POCs and their values determine the order of the JCL. This simple example shows how changing the order of the POCs within a profile impacts how objects are prioritized. More complex examples are provided in the product documentation. In this list, we see the results of prioritizing the objects by the two POCs we selected, Extents and Unclust. Objects are ordered first by the Extents values because we selected Extents as the first POC. Table space A has the highest extents value, so this object has the highest priority. The rest of the objects are prioritized in descending order by the number of extents. If more than one object has the same extents value, then the unclust value determines the priority order of those objects. For example, look at the objects where extents equals 301 and extents equals 255. 
As the arrows indicate, they are listed in descending order by the percentage of unclustered data. Now let's see what happens when we change the priority order of the POCs. This list shows the same objects, but now they are ordered by the unclust value. Table space C now has the highest priority. In this scenario, all of the unclust values are unique, so the extents values are not needed. In this video, we introduce the CA Database Analyzer Prioritize Object Maintenance feature. We learned how each POM profile contains prioritized object conditions and that the order of the selected conditions and their values determine the order of the JCL. We also learned about object sets, and finally, we reviewed an example of how using the same two POCs in different order impacts how objects are prioritized. Additional resources are available, including the product documentation, technical support, online help, and the CA database management for DB2 and IMS community. Thank you for viewing this video. This concludes the training on the CA database analyzer for DB2 for Zeos prioritize object maintenance feature.